or what features of Microsoft Teams are very useful for teaching effectively. I'll talk about these features, some of these features, uh, uh, seven features. The first one is <coughs> that have a safe distance, uh, the safe, not uh, a reasonable distance from uh, camera, uh, from camera, yeah. You should have uh, one to two feet distance at least from the camera. That will give you a good poster of uh, you. Uh, that will not show your uh, face magnified and your eyes and uh, nose a big one. Okay, this is this is the first tip. Second is that you should manage the team. Once you are here, teams, go to manage. When you go to manage, you see here you have members and guests. You can assign a tag to all these. You can assign a tag to all these. When you will assign a tag to all of these, then when you will go to general and post, whatever you will post here at the rate of tag, all those who are tagged with AE, they will get this message. You see three people have this tag, so all these three people will get this message. Uh, instead of uh, uh, the, instead of sending these messages or posts individually, so so in manage teams go to tags, assign tags. For example, when I do uh, other meetings, I can assign a tag to some uh, some senior officials and other ones. Here you have an option to mute all the students, so you can mute all the students. They they will keep on unmuting themselves. You can you can mute them. Uh, they, this option is available. Uh, 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 at, at some other uh, place as well. So now you see general. You will have here start meeting. So you can meet now. And second tip is uh, um, uh, assign tags and at the same time go for participants. You see here you have option of managing teams uh, allow, don't allow everyone to share screen because if you allow everyone to share the screen what will be the, what will happen that students will keep on interrupting they will mute you they will unmute others and you will have you will have a very difficult uh, uh, time you, you uh, it's it will become difficult to manage the class so so save only me that's that will take time and you will have this one this is second tip that you should assign tags and you should uh, uh, manage team in a way that you should uh, you should have the right to present others don't have the right until and unless you specify you can specify spec uh, specific people as well then keep uh, your background blur you see uh, here background you can see a mirror and a fan going on so you will keep on looking at those things are you if you have a very good uh, you see uh, scenery uh, behind me you, you your attention may go to the remote uh, may go there so instead of use this blur background or some other nice background now you will see a blur background that will that will uh, 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 that will uh, have a privacy for me as well as uh, it will not seek your attention. Uh, you can apply it, you can cross it, and uh, this is what. Another feature which is available here, you might not have this uh, at the moment, or you may have this one, raise your hand. So you see, when here uh, the, uh, the uh, student who want to uh, ask a question will click here, raise hand. Okay, raise hand, raise hand, lower hand, raise your hand lower your hand so this is how you can do that uh, you can you can ask the student who is who has raised his her hand <coughs> uh, you, uh, you can use this feature you can uh, share the screen uh, you have different screens you can share those screens you you have whiteboard here you can share the whiteboard uh, where you can write something uh, if it is attachable or you have uh, the, uh, you see uh, pin mobile you can uh, use the mobile pin uh, pen 
what other things I can share with you. Okay, another thing here, go to Teams, you will have uh, you will have here files, you can upload the files, but try to upload these files in a read-only format so that the, the uh, students cannot edit it. Uh, you can have files here as well if you are using OneDrive. So my files here are here, um, uh, are lying here. So, so you can say, uh, you can see all these files uh, I can uh, use for my class from uh, OneDrive instead of uh, uploading it from the system. So you can use these, uh, these files from here. What else? You can go to assignments, you can schedule a meeting, or you can uh, schedule a meeting, you can see a new meeting here, uh, you, you can have a new meeting here, you can assign its title, you can give a time, everything, and here you will uh, a meeting tag and you can link it, copy it, and send this link. Schedule assistant, uh, the, uh, uh, when you want to do this, what, uh, uh, who should attend it, <coughs> <coughs> what are optional attendees, and all this. Hmm, any uh, other tip? Uh, let's go to teens and I see what other thing I can discuss with you. You can hear, share here quiz. Quiz will be in form. So you have forms here. You can create a form. This uh, forms uh, forms you can uh, use here. For example, if I use uh, right type here forms office.com. So you see you can create a quiz here. New quiz. It's so simple to uh, so simple to create here. Uh, you see what is uh, the interest rate today in Pakistan? Today in Pakistan, you can add here choice correct option. 8% 7 9 10 if I assign this one as correct option correct answer for this one I uh, I say it's incorrect so if someone will click here he or she will get a message incorrect so this is incorrect. You can write, you can add a comment, incorrect. And you can, you can share this form by copying link. But before that, go to settings. What are those settings? You can have one person, or one response per person. You should have, uh, you see, some 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 colleagues sending messages you see here settings start date so you can have a start date you can have an end date and you can adjust it as per your requirement send an email to res uh, the email uh, uh, recipient to respondents uh, receive two respondents to show that that uh, their quiz is submitted so you can share this copy this copy this go to teams go under posts you can share share here from existing or you can go to post here post here control v so you have shared field uh, you have shared the quiz and no students will click here they will submit their response oh the, because you have set the date such that this this will start after two or three hours <coughs> so this is not accepting at the moment so you can have open time you can have closing time and within that you can also shuffle this you can shuffle the questions as well but here we have only one question so we cannot shuffle it so you can use this uh, this quiz here as well 
and uh, one more one more thing very important one that how you can engage students in the class now for example if i am uh, i am creating this quiz and i ask some of you okay please let me know what was the question which i have created in the quiz those who were watching the video who were listening me they will let me know what is the what is basically I, what i have asked asked if they have left the, uh, the uh, play, uh, room by muting their uh, mics and uh, switching off their cameras so they will not be able to respond and i can grade them accordingly this will not only be interactive as well as i will keep my students engaged so these are couple of tips managing team sharing screens creating quiz online and uh, tagging the students and muting the students and uh, uh, and uh, you see raising your hand and asking the question turn by turn these are the things which you can use uh, for uh, the, uh, microsoft teams uh, for an effective teaching and effective learning thank you for watching.